Some people like to use obscure editors. I like to use Emacs, which is less common than it maybe should be, but it's still a very complex editor. So if I want to use Emacs, I have an Emacs hello.txt, you'll find that Emacs is not installed. I can install Emacs using the install Emacs, or I can use the Emacs Nox, or Emacs with no X. I like the Emacs with no X because I like it to be inside of my terminal window right here. So if I do a sudo app install Emacs Nox, it will install it. It takes a little while because it has a lot of dependencies. It's a fairly large system, but I do like Emacs quite a bit, and so I use it. Uh, I would recommend against using Emacs if you are not already using it. But if you are using it, then go ahead and install it. Um, all right, so one of the things that I just skipped through basically there was it wanted to know how I wanted to set up my mail system so I could read. So Emacs can actually read mail. It can do all kinds of other things. It has built-in plugins for everything. Well, not everything, but many, many things. I right, once you get Emacs installed after a minute or so, you can go ahead and use Emacs on the file. Hello.txt. All right, so now I can go ahead and type in hello world. And then when I want to save it, I press a key combination, control X, control S for save, then control X, control C to exit. So once again, I am in this file. Goodbye. I press Control X, Control S to save, Control X, Control C to exit. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to get, get going on Emacs. Um, maybe not the easiest thing to learn, but something there. The uh, other thing is if you're typing stuff in, you press Control K, delete lines right there. But if I decide I wanted to exit, and I type in a wrong key combination and I don't know what it is, I can press control G to quit out of that key combination and then control X, control S, save, control X, control C to quit. All right. Well, good luck.